Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Reselling Farming Mom. For those of you that don't know, my name is Ashley. Typically what we do on Sunday nights is we talk about everything I sold throughout the week, as well as I show you everything I'm shipping out tonight. But, it's not Sunday, it's Monday, because today's President's Day. And it was a slow week for me, and I wanted to hold out and see what I could show you from today. And I'm glad I did, because we had some awesome sales today. Make sure you stay till the end. Okay, so this week, not this week, last week. Last week was a slow week for me, definitely. I only had five sales. I'm not, I'm trying really hard not to let it get me discouraged. I've still continued to list daily, um, but I'm unsure how to deal with these slow times. I don't know if I'm listing the wrong things or if people just are interested in other things. They're tight with their money right now. I don't know what it is. I've continued to list similar items as to what I sell. I think I'm gonna tinker with listing some more clothes. So if you have any suggestions, if you could just drop them down below, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know if you're getting the same thing I'm getting out of eBay. I'm just, I'm really wondering what it is. So, but throughout the week, five items. First was a sweater, hence why I wanna list clothes. It was a vintage Janten, Janstins men's extra large 100% wool sweater, new with tags. This person actually messaged me quite a few times asking about the sweater. They wanted, um, they had the size, they wanted dimensions. I had, I had to get him the measurements pit to pit and I had to get him the length. And he sent me a picture of the chart of where he wanted the length to be measured from. So it was fine. Usually I've, in the past, people that ask me lots of questions about items, they don't typically buy them. I don't know why, but that's been my personal experience. So I was pleasantly surprised when he bought the sweater because I just, I've never had those results before. So it was pennies in, it was from our estate sale buyout and sold for $19.95. Good profit. Next we had a solid miniature brass milk can paperweight. It was marked USA. It was only two inches tall. It had some weight to it though for only being two inches. It still qualified for first class, but I mean, it was a dense little milk can. It was, I believe, free to me. I think it came in an auction hall that my dad brought over and it sold for $8. Next up though, were two sets of glasses and these were actually pretty awesome flips. We picked both of these sets up when we went sourcing, I think it was last weekend, I showed you guys some things that we got and some things to look out for. One of the things I mentioned looking out for was the Libby Color Impressions glasses. The, I listed them and they sold in days. I had a set of four impressions. They had the pinched sides, dimpled and colored bottoms. It was $2 in on the set of four and they sold for $35, which is what I was asking for them. So I was really excited about that. And then the other set was a set of five Anchor Hocking Tartan Brown Glass Iced Tea Tumblers, Manchester, USA. And then I had Tawny in the title as well. I'm not an amber person by any means, but I really have been watching it a lot more. These were less amber and more of a smoky brown, but I had one of the low ball, I want to call it a low ball glass. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. It was like probably five inches of the same pattern. I only had a single and I had looked it up and it was selling between eight to $9 for just the single glass. So I had put it in a whatnot auction in a mystery box about, I want to say two months ago. And when I saw this set of five, I jumped on it because I knew that it had some value and the set of five would make it worth a little bit more. So I was two and a half dollars in on the set of five glasses and these sold for $25. I was asking $29.95, but they were, they're very, very heavy glasses and the buyer was located in Texas. So I knew shipping was going to be a little bit high for them. So I worked with them on the price due to the amount of shipping they were going to have to pay. And then the last item I shipped out last week was a, another one of the new old stock Coors Silver Light. <laughs> it's not Silver Light. It's Coors Light Silver Bullet <laughs> Racing Banner. They're 36 by 60. It says, welcome racing fans. 
They're listed on eBay for $22.95. I accepted the buyer's offer at $15. It's a little low for my liking, but I was having a slow week. I accepted it. Um, I am getting down on these. If anyone is interested in one, I have a couple up listed on eBay right now and Ashley Surfy Shop. They're huge. They are new old stock. They are very nice quality. If you are interested, make sure that you let me know you found me on YouTube or that you subscribe to my channel and I will work with you on the price as well. So that was my sales for last week. Five sales. I have a goal. I've been talking to you guys about my goal. My goal is two items a day sales wise. I don't have a monetary value. I just, I really would like to pump out two sales a day, you know, to keep things flowing, to get things shipping out every day or every other day. And last week I just, it, I didn't hit the bar. I don't think it was a hit on me directly. I just, something's not catching and i'm really curious what it is i get these emails from ebay about accepting returns and also there's another one uh guaranteed one day shipping i have not altered my listings because i'm really curious what everyone's opinion on that is or what you do i currently i think i'm at top rated seller i have the lowest level of store you know, payment wise, I don't promote my listings anymore because it was just extra fees I was paying. And as I stopped promoting, I was still getting sales. I have a current promotion running on eBay on my 500 oldest listings. Like I feel like I'm taking all the right steps. Um, Instagram, I had a couple people comment. I had a post out there, you know, asking their opinions and they said that it just happens. The couple people let me know that it had happened to them. And after about two weeks, it just kind of bounced back. I'm feeling the bounce back a little bit today. I had three sales. They were actually pretty great sales, but I just, I'm wondering what everyone's opinion is. We had a whatnot auction Saturday night to try to combat some of the low sales from the week. It did all right. But again, whatnot I've noticed is a little slow also right now, but Speaking of whatnot, if you guys are on whatnot, if you could do me a huge favor and go find me and give me a follow because not only will you be costing no money but helping my fundraiser, you will be helping me get closer to my 500 followers. You guys, I'm two followers away. Two followers away from 500 followers. So if two of you could go find me and give me a follow on whatnot, I can host this 500 follower show that I have been talking about for a month now. I am so excited. I've got items set aside. You guys, I've got Murano vases over there. I've got some beautiful Indi uh, Indiana glass. I've got, I've got some cool stuff and I want to sell it on whatnot. This 500 follower show I've been talking about that I'm so excited to host, but I need your help. I need help getting these two more followers. So if you could find me on whatnot and help my fundraiser for Christmas for kids, and help me reach that i would appreciate it so much so that's me asking for help now let me tell you what i'm shipping out tonight i've got six items since it was a holiday weekend awesome i could include today's monday sales in it um first was a t-shirt it is a foghorn t-shirt out of my foghorn leghorn auction haul i'm not sure i think i have one more t-shirt this one is, it had no size. I'm not sure if it was cut or if it was faded. It's from 1995. It's got a little bit of wear. I accepted the buyer's offer at $10 due to the fact that it had no size and it had some wear. I know that vintage t-shirts, the wear, it means something, but I know the size also means something. So I was happy to see it go. I'm always happy to see the clothes go. It just gets me excited. Next was this cute little cow cottage cheese covered trinket dish. So it says cottage cheese on it. Now this was listed as is. Very clearly in the title as is. Please read the description. These little cows have seen better days. They've got some little chippies on the ears and there's one little chippy on the back right here on the lid. 
from a distance it still looks cute and i feel like if you loved it you could you could touch it up and it wouldn't look bad it was too cute to throw away i am the first person to chuck things when it's got chips but i sold the broken mirror a couple weeks ago and this week i sold the chipped cowl lid i it is too cute to throw away guys i mean look at it so I believe it was also another free to me. I think it came in an auction haul from my dad. I could be wrong. If I paid anything for it, it would be from an auction less than a dollar. And it sold for $10. The next item was another free to me from an auction haul from my dad. He bought, oh my goodness, like two boxes of coffee mugs. And they were, they weren't by any means, you know, they weren't pottery, they weren't stoneware. They were your run-of-the-mill coffee mugs that you find. So I went through them trying to find things that were special. I did find quite a few special ones. I grouped them. I picked them out. You know, I put some in my garage sale. But this one was an owl, and I know owls sell, and people like owls. I had a colorful one, and I believe the colorful one sold for a little bit more. This one sold for $8. It is a Better Homes it is from their Heritage Collection Earthenware Off-White Owl. So it's got the little ears that poke up. No chips or cracks. It's a nice oversized coffee mug. And if you like owls, you know, it's for you. It sold for $8, free to me. An $8 coffee mug. You guys can't, you can't beat it. Next was, this is one to look out for. I was really excited when these sold. They sold this morning. Was a set of six 1950s, they're small jelly jar juice glasses. Um, I, I listed them as juice glasses. I think their original purpose in life was a jelly jar. I don't think you could reuse it. I didn't have the lids, but as a juice glass height, it's got a small pedestal here. I have six of them. The other five are back here. And they're nautical themed. So I don't know the name of a steering wheel of a boat, but this is like the steering wheel of a boat. Super nice, excellent condition. Make sure you're scoping out the clear glass and looking it up because I would not have picked these up had I not looked them up. The set of six, I was $3 in because they were in with the glasses because they were being considered a juice glass, not a canning jar. Canning jars are way more expensive than juice glasses at the Goodwill, but juice glasses are only 50 cents. So $3 in on the set of six sold for $31, guys. So that was an awesome flip. We've only got two more items. We have a vintage ad. I went back and forth with I, uh, the paper machine about my print ads on one of my, he was messaging me in my comments about my print ads and my print ad pricing and trying, trying to help me learn and build. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much about my print ads being too cheap. The things that they recommended I look out for are the age, the obscurity of the magazine and the content, obviously. This is a blue telephone book blue book telephone numbers long distance calls print ad this one is from 1957 i'm pulling my ads currently from a saturday evening post i have stacks of them from 1957 so they don't have too much age and they're very common magazines they're not obscure by any means so i have not upped my pricing yet i'm going to start upping the pricing a little bit on some of the more desirable ads that I see that flip a little bit better. This one sold for $5. It's a decent size. It's um, it's full page, but not full page width. So, but it was free to me and it's a piece of paper. So good times. And then the last item guys, oh my goodness. So on whatnot, I'm always asking about Christmas and they're like, Christmas is year round. Christmas is year round. You guys, Christmas is year round because I not only people were excited about Christmas box on whatnot, they also, I sold a Christmas ornament today on eBay and I got it for a dollar because Christmas is out of season right now at the Goodwill. So their seasonal stuff 
they mark down a little bit. So I've actually picked up two of these at my local Goodwill for a dollar a piece. This is in its original box. I'm going to butcher the name. It is Pier One La Bien. Bean. I want to say bean because bien is, you know, Spanish, but this says it is a Chinese form of painting. Um, the paperwork is in here explaining the, the type of art it is. It means it was painted from the inside, but it is dated 2015. It's Merry Christmas Heart. It's super pretty. It's got a little stocking and it has its original little Pier 1 thing hanging on it. So a dollar in sold for $19.90. So I would watch out for these La Bien Christmas ornaments. I always check out the Christmas ornaments because they're easy to list and they're usually easy to ship. This is going to be a super easy ship and it was a great profit. And they don't take up very much space in a tote. I mean, so I do you guys list Christmas year round? I've been listing my Christmas year round now too, because you just never know. There's something for everyone and somebody's always looking to complete some sort of collection. So, but that's all I've got for tonight. Side note, I didn't tell you guys in the beginning, but all of the cheaping that you may or may not have heard throughout this video is my chicks graduated from their brooder in the bathroom to a very much larger brooder in the basement. So they've been over here just cheaping away the whole time. I fed and watered them right before I started filming because I was really hoping that that would like soothe them, but then they were just super excited. They had new food, so just can't win sometimes. So I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next Monday. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.